Having high triglycerides can be very dangerous, and it's actually one of the markers for metabolic syndrome. So if you have high triglycerides, you really need to worry about that, and you really need to take active steps to fix that. But what if it's one of the medications you're taking that was actually prescribed by your doctor? I'm Dr. Ken Berry, a family physician, and that's what this video is about. If you know someone with high triglycerides, please consider sharing this video with them because, as I said, high triglycerides can be very dangerous and increase your risk of all sorts of, of serious medical outcomes. So please share this because it could help them. I'm going to list these medications in no particular order, but uh, I save the most common three medications that you may be prescribed for last. So watch till the end so you can check those out because millions of people are taking one of those medications. Many doctors don't realize the importance of having high triglycerides and most doctors don't know how to reverse or lower high triglycerides. Many times a doctor will prescribe you a medication for one condition and it actually winds up worsening your hypertriglyceridemia. So let's jump into this list so that you'll know which medications to talk to your doctor about. And if you hear a medication that you're taking in this video, that does not mean to just stop taking that medication. It means it's time to go see your healthcare provider and have a discussion about whether this medication is truly right for you or whether you should switch to another medication or whether you should just stop it altogether. That's a discussion to be had with you and your doctor. Now, number one, is the retinoids, and the most common is isotretinoin. This is used for severe allergy. It is a vitamin, uh, an artificial vitamin A derivative, and it can spike your triglycerides quite prominently. Uh, I'm gonna list all the medications down in the show notes below and the research I used to make this video so that you can check that out and have all that the, those resources in one place. Number two is antipsychotics. Both the first and second generation antipsychotics are notorious for spiking triglycerides. The most common are chlorpromazine, haloperidol, abilify, geodon, latuda, seroquel, and zyprexa. These are the ones that, that really do the worst job at this. The next is oral estrogen. And so women out there, if you're taking an oral estrogen pill, so an estrogen pill by mouth, that's gonna raise your triglycerides along with a host of other uh, unacceptable side effects. Next is corticosteroids, the most common being prednisone and prednisolone. Taking these short term for an acute inflammatory event, it's not a big deal, but taking them long term can absolutely raise your triglyceride levels and lead to other problems. Number five is the retrovirals. And this is uh, the protease inhibitors like Norvir and Viracept are the most common, uh, commonly known to raise triglycerides. Next is tamoxifen. Tamoxifen absolutely can raise your triglycerides. This is used for uh, prevention of recurrence of breast cancer and a few other things in women, uh, but it can absolutely raise your triglycerides. The next medication is amiodarone, taken by many, many heart patients to help regulate atrial fibrillation or other arrhythmias. It can absolutely spike your triglycerides. Next is the loop diuretics, and this includes things like bumetanide, furosemide, and torsemide. Uh, these are fluid pills, and so not every single fluid pill raises your, your triglycerides, but this group absolutely does. The next is the thiazide diuretics, another fluid pill. The most common of these are chlorothaladone, hydrochlorothiazide, uh, chlorothiazide, endapamide, and metolazone. If you're taking one of these to lower blood pressure or to get rid of excess fluid, make sure your doctor's checking your triglyceride levels. And if they're high, it could very well be caused by the thiazide diuretic that you're taking. And then lastly is the beta blockers. And you would take these for high blood pressure or for a heart condition. The most common would be metoprolol, carvedilol, or propranolol. And uh, although they do serve a useful purposes in some few patients, for the majority of people, there are too many side effects from the beta blockers, one is of which is having high triglycerides. 
if you'd like more information about how to lower your triglycerides, because as I said early, most doctors have no idea how to do this because there's no FDA approved pill they can prescribe you that will reliably lower your triglycerides without having other side effects. I'm gonna pop up videos here and here at the end of this video that will help you understand how to lower your triglycerides permanently with a delicious and healthy diet that you will absolutely love to eat every day. If you haven't already done so, please take one second and click that subscribe button and the little bell button right beside it so that every time I have a bright idea, you'll be one of the very first people to know. And as you may have already figured out, I'm probably never gonna receive a sponsorship from Big Pharma or from Big Food. So please click on my Patreon link. It's down below in the show notes. It's a super quick sign up, and you can throw a buck or two my way so that I have more time and more resources to make videos just like this. I'm Dr. Barry. I'll see you next time.